I'm looking forward to catching up with Nick Agcord from Black and Veatch. He grew up in Bangor and was really looking for a chance to get back up here with his family. Uh, I think it's a, a great story and one that I think there will be very many of those in, uh, of people working on this project and able to come back home or to have a good job, um, provide for their family here right in the state. I'm Thorne Dickinson. I am excited about sharing with you authentic conversations from Mainers throughout the state about the value this project delivers. What's going on in your world now with your, on the project for you? Um, so I'm managing, um, you know, the, the engineering that's going on associated with the, the 145 mile line. So yeah, 2021 is gonna be a very, very busy very busy year, hopefully. If I remember right, you were born here in Maine? Yep, I'm from Bangor. Yep, so I, I was raised in Bangor. Uh, I went to the University of Maine of Orno. But my wife and I met at Orno uh, when we were both going to school there. And, uh, you know, we've, we've been all over the place. Her family's down in Massachusetts. Uh, we wanted to spend some time, be, be close to them. And that's when I made the transition to, to Black and Beach to help them open up their transmission line group down there in Burlington, Massachusetts. Ultimately, after we had our first kid, uh, February of 2018, it, it, priorities changed a little bit, you know, spending so much time commuting back and forth, wanting to, wanting to get to some place a little more <laughs> my speed, I guess. And, and it's just funny, because as we were having that conversation, you know, somebody had asked me, hey, do you want to help work on this proposal? And I had just kind of mentioned it to my wife, almost kind of joking, you know, wouldn't that be nice if we could go back to Maine? And she, she surprisingly was, was on board. And, that, and that's, what, that's what got me very excited to, to make sure I gave this, you know, everything I had and, and make sure I got my, my name in the hat to come back to Maine. I proposed to my wife uh, in Harpswell, and that's just a place we like to go to. I bought the ring and uh, had to call the father to go walk the cliff trail which is uh, the place we like to go to and there's a, a nice little ledge outcrop where you're looking down and you, you can, can you can see the ocean at that point you know the bay as it's coming in um, and it just so happened to start snowing and it dropped on one knee and I don't know what I said but she said yes. We had talked a little while ago up in the forks about some of the um, really innovative things he was doing but I really wanted a chance to see more of it. And uh, it's a really important part of the project to make sure we manage and honor the, the forests that we have here in Maine in line with the Department of Environmental Protection's orders. When it comes to tapering, this is, this is kind of a unique idea. Basically, we're allowing vegetation to step up as you work your way to the edge of the corridor. You know, this is the 3D representation. Oh, wow. This is the tapering. So hence the roller coaster kind of feel. Okay, so I'm looking like down the right of way here. Right. Essentially what you're, you're trying to do is make sure that any tree that we cut is a tree that needs to be cut. Exactly. And every tree that can be out there can still be out there. When you hear the pristine forest, what's your reaction? I mean, you can tell, you can tell it's been heavily forested over time. Now there are some stretches where Yes, there's, it's very thick and it's going to be tough going, but I, I just, you know, you look at all the access roads that we're using to get from point to point, it, it has been, it's been well managed, but it's also, there's been a lot of cutting in this area. So. I was really blown away. The ability to essentially almost paint every tree that we need to, to take down and that, thus protecting all the other trees in the, in the right of way was incredible and I, I'm actually looking forward to sharing it with people that really advocated for this kind of uh, trimming. I think this is a, a brand new thing for the whole industry and I think the work that next will done will be used in other right-of-ways to protect Maine more and more and more of the forest that we have.